Hello ladies and welcome to Grow Your Way. I am Faith and let me just welcome all of you new people. I really appreciate the new subscribers. Again, on this site, all we do is gray hair and gray wigs. With that said, welcome back to all of you who have been following me for a while. I truly appreciate it. As you know, I have the three Dashley units that have come in the salt and pepper colors. One of the things that I had asked you guys is whether you wanted me to do a review of all three in separate videos or if you wanted me to do the three together. The majority of you said that you wanted all three together. That's why this video is a little long. So um, with that said, let's get started. These three Dashley units, and you guys, if you know anything about me, you know that I have been asking in wish lists over the last couple of years to have a gray standard with the regular colors with these wig manufacturers. So I'm asking them, don't just give me these ugly grandma gray units, give me gray in the same units that you're giving us the ones, the one B's, the twos. So this is what's happened. What I really like about this, and I'm going to show you guys a really short video. Notice that the young woman is right next to the older woman. I love that because that's letting me know that they are not only giving me my dark colors, but they're giving me my gray colors too. So I'm really happy about that. Okay. So I got the three gray colors, but let me just tell you that one of the gray colors was not in any of the pictures for this salt and pepper synthetic collection, but I'm going to show you a picture of one of the units that has the color that I've got, one of the three colors that I've got that is actually human hair and it's called an empire wig. So I'm showing you that picture now. This color is called M44. And it only came in these human hair units. It did not come in the synthetic units um, in terms of the pictures that they showed. So what I did was I got one of the synthetic units, one of the three that I chose in that M44 color. So that M44 color is all gray. So I'm just going to show it to you um, when I get to it. The first one I'm going to show you is called the SP Lace Unit 4. And I have her in the color HL280-44. So just to give you guys a little bit of a background, when it comes to these gray units, the darkest color in gray is usually 280. Then a 34 is a little lighter. Then a 44 is a little lighter. Then a 51 is even lighter. So that you kind of get an idea of what these look like. And if you want to watch my video that talks about the different gray shades, you can do that. I'll put that up in the, just up in the thing. So the first unit that I got is called HL, which is, I believe, highlight 28044. And this is the kinky curly one that's uh, lace unit number four. So this is her. She's got the M44 in the front. And then she has the 280 in the back, which is a darker kind of combination gray and, and black. This one is a lace part, like all of them are lace parts. This one has a comb in the front, or actually two combs in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps. So I'm going to throw this one on first because I wanted you to guys to see what this one looked like. This one is a right side part. I think this is a right side part, yeah. It's a right side part. It has a little bit of baby hair, and I'm just trying to get the lace together here so I can figure out whether this is like balanced. Okay. So this is what she looks like just plopped on my head. So this is the first one again, unit four. This is her on the back. And I'm going to show you a short video of her walking around in this unit. One thing you might notice with her walking around this unit is that she's not like the greatest model. <laughs> she's great when it comes to the photos, but the video, not so great. But again, I like the fact that they've got the young woman along with the older woman. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you what this one looks like in the back. Yeah, it is in the back. I guess you can see the length of it. Yeah, that one in the back. And this one feels really light. It also fits my head really well. I have a 22 inch head, so it fits just right. It's not loose and it's not snug. So if you have a bigger than 22 inch head, it might be a little snug. If you have a smaller than 22 inch head, it'll be a little looser. So even though this has baby hairs, they look a little sporadic, 
you know they got them up here and I don't know they really don't have them on the side but they have them up here they have them up here and then over here yeah I don't know what, what was up with that but you guys know that I'm not going to use those baby hairs but this particular unit I would advise you not to comb because I think if you comb this you're probably going to lose uh, the crinkles or whatever that's in here so yeah so I wanted to show you guys this one I am not going to cut the lace on this one and style this one because I really don't think that even if I cut the lace on this one that it's going to look much different than it looks right now <laughs> so I think it's cute it's a really nice throw on and go it's lightweight and again the color mix is really cute because it's got that that little bit of um, 44 in the front um, but yeah so if you like this kind of style then you're going to like SP lace unit 4 in HL which is highlight 280 44 and again the 44 is in the front and the 280 is the darker color so now I'm going to move on to the second unit okay the next one that I have is SP lace unit 3 and I have her in the color HL 1B 280 so the difference between this one and the one that I showed you before is that this one is mostly a 1B but it has a little bit of 280 sprinkled through it so I'm going to put this one on this one is a middle part and again it fits me it fits me I don't know this one fits a tad bit more snug this is a tad bit more snug than the other one so this is the way this one looks just plopped on my head it's a middle part like I said and as you can see the gray part of it the 280 is very subtle it's very very subtle you don't see there very much of it it's very subtle and I think that's what they had t intended for this particular unit let me show you what she looks like in the back just put on my head she's not very long not very long which is good and this is a style that I mean I like it but because of the fact that I am um, more of a left side part girl but again let me show you the video so that you can see what um, the model looks like with it walking around and of course as I mentioned to you before there's more than one color I mean there's more than just gray in this S&P there's uh, the color unit as well and you can see those on the younger model I would just wish that the older model was a little bit more animated <laughs> I wish she was more animated like that younger chick is because that younger chick she got it going on and the older chick she ain't doing nothing but anyway I'm gonna see if I can get some um, some swoop action going on with this unit now these aren't ones that you're going to be able to pluck either because they're just parts they're not like frontals um, but again I think these are nice I like the real subtle color of the gray in this one if you're just becoming gray then this 1B 280 might be good for you um, this one I'm not really sure about this one I mean I can't seem to get the style to do what I want to do in this one can't seem to get the style but then you guys remember I did a video not long ago where you can actually put um, hot rollers in your synthetic units and I will put a link to that video also down in the bottom yeah these these baby hairs are kind of all over the place but yeah I'm probably not going to use those but this one would probably take a, would probably need a little a little bit of a hot comb situation going on with it but again I think she's cute and again don't forget that she comes in other colors and all the colors that are offered you can get in each of these units so if you wanted a more gray you could get that if you wanted the one that had more of the gray in the front you could get that as well okay so let's move on to number three so SP lace unit 2 I think was the unit that everybody was kind of going crazy over again this is her and in this particular picture that everybody's been seeing she has on the HL 280 slash 44 which is a little bit of the light gray in the front and then the dark gray in the back I did not get that one I know you guys are gonna die but I did not get this one I got the color that I mentioned to you guys earlier that they did not show in the pictures and that's just the plain M44 and I'm gonna tell you why I got that this is her 
she's got the same construction as the others. She's just got two combs in the front, comb in the back, adjustable straps, and she's apart. So I'm going to put her on my head. Now this unit reminds me of Nisha. I think the color and everything just kind of reminds me of Nisha. Now this particular unit, um, I love the style of this. I could see a lot of potential in this unit, a lot of potential, regardless of what color you happen to get. She's nice and full. Let me show you what she looks like in the back. Yep, there she is in the back. Yeah, I like this already. And again, I didn't get the other color because I wanted you guys to see what this M44 looked like. So what I'm going to do with this one, um, I'm just going to brush through it a little bit. It's not as thick as Anisha. It feels more manageable than Anisha, in my opinion. It's a, is it a right side part, left side part? It is a, it's a right side part. Yeah, it's a right side part. And it feels... It feels snug. It feels a little snug like the like the second one did. It feels a little snug. I just I love the style. I think the style of this is really pretty. It's got, you know, they all have baby hairs. It's got baby hairs. And uh, yeah. Um, one cool thing about this one, and I think the reason why I got this one is because I intended to keep it. <laughs> I might sell the others, but I intended to keep this one because I want to be able to wear this unit. Um, glueless and I'm going to show you how I do that by pulling my own hair out in the front and wearing this behind the headline so I'll be right back okay I'm back I had to cut the lace off this one because I want to show you again I am very excited about showing you guys this because I have been doing this behind the hairline thing for a while lately and I really like it and it really helps me to make the wig look much more natural. And even though I've been showing you guys video and pictures of myself in it after the fact, I never really showed you how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so what I use is this stuff. It's called Easy Edges. And I forgot who it's by, but it's in my Amazon store. So if you're interested in it, you can get it there. This has been better to me than some of the other products that I've used to keep my hair down when I do a leave out like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push this back just a tad, just a little bit. And what you can also do if you want it to feel more secure is you can take some bobby pins, of course, and you can put the bobby pins in the unit so that you don't feel like totally, you know, like you're going to lose it. And of course, I would suggest that you wear a wig grip because um, that's going to help you feel a lot more secure too. So I'm just going to put these bobby pins in here, right here. So I'm going to take one of these combs and I'm going to start pulling my hair out. Now you notice where the part is. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put my comb in here and I'm going to pull my hair to the side underneath this part so that my hair goes um, away from the part too so that it can kind of mix in. So I don't know if you're noticing that, but I'm going to pull my hair out of the way so that it is where the part is. Right there, yep. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Second thing I'm going to do is just start pulling the hair out. So I'm going to pull a lot of my hair out so that you can see how this is going to be done. Sometimes you have to kind of mess with it because you don't have you may not necessarily be sure how much you should pull out But I've been kind of messing around with it and um, so we're going to start with this part first So I'm going to take this stuff I'm going to put it on this brush just on the edge of this brush This stuff is hard to get out of this bottle too just so you know But I'm just going to slide it along this brush Just going to slide it along here and this is what I do I take this and I start brushing my hair over the wig, okay? I'm just gonna start brushing my hair over the wig. Okay? And right away you can see how well it's gonna blend together. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. I really love the fact that I can do this and I can still do a little swoop you know, and push it down. Look how natural that looks. I mean, it looks fabulous. I love it. 
I mean, you gotta play with it a little bit to make it do exactly the way you want. And you know, put hairspray in it or whatever it is that you need to do. But right now, I'm loving that. So on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull out my hair. And again, this works for me because of the fact that this particular color, M44, is like a 34 in my opinion. It's fitting my hair. It's fitting my hair color. So I'm gonna take some more of this stuff on this brush again, and I'm gonna start brushing it into my hair so that I can brush it over this one. Now I'm not gonna put this behind my ear, I don't think. Well, no, I might, I might, I might put it behind my ear. So yeah, so I'm pushing it up here, and you may have to adjust the unit a little bit, but I'm pushing it up. And then if you feel like you need to put, pull even more hair out, you can. You can pull more hair out if you feel like you're not like pulling out enough. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So for this one, I may need to pull more hair out at the top. It looks like I might need to pull my hair out at the top. But I'm gonna put this behind my ear. And I'm just gonna brush, brush this a little bit. Okay, so now, again, I don't have a wig grip on, so that's why it's kind of slipping, but you're going to want to have a wig grip on when you do this. Okay, so if I decide not to put it behind my ear on this side, I can just brush this down. I can just brush this down, and then again, I just need to either use a curling iron to curl my hair into this hair, or I can just brush it in. So the last thing that I do is I am going to take some powder... Okay, I'm going to take some powder and put it in the part. So here's my brush, here's the powder, just a little teeny brush, and then you just go like that. Now this one needs to be pulled up a little bit more, but yeah. yeah. And since this hair is not that light, the powder is not going to really mess it up. So there. So yeah, that's kind of a quickie version of what I do. But to me, it looks so much more natural. Look at that. It looks so much more natural to do it this way. And of course, you want to get your flyaways in con under control and stuff, you know. I got a, a, a wax stick here. You get your flyaways under control and all of that. But, I mean, that's basically it. And you're ready to go out the door. And that's what I really love about this whole leave-out thing is that you can fix this stuff up to make, you can fix these units up to really make it look like your hair without um, a whole lot of fuss. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. I think it looks so nice. I have been wearing um, other wigs like I think you saw, <coughs> excuse me, I think you saw me with Bobby Boss Blake. I wore Blake to work and everybody was like, is that your hair? Is that your hair? But yeah, this is going to work really perfectly because this particular M44 color really works with my hair. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wanted to show you again those three colors in gray. Don't forget that you can also get these units in their regular colors. Shout out to Sensationelle for doing this. I will say, though, they did not sponsor this video. They did not send me the units. I had to get them myself, so I was kind of disappointed at that because Sensational, as a rule, they're really not that cooperative when it comes to collabing with influencers, and I wish they'd change that. But I was so excited about these units that I had to do them regardless, so I paid for these with my own coin because I wanted to bring them to you guys because I thought it was important enough for you guys to see that they have actually added gray as a standard to this line of wigs that also has other colors that I think really look fabulous. And I want you guys to check out the other influencers that are going to be doing the other colors. I believe Brittany is going to do one and I think Charisma is probably going to do one. So check their videos out because they're probably going to do the other colors. So yeah. But thank you so much for watching you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you guys next time.